work for the New York State Conservation Department, Division of Fish and Wildlife. And what we're trying to do is monitor the success and productivity of the bald eagles that nest all over New York State. So each May and June, we try to visit all of the known eagle nests and search for new eagle nests, climb the trees, go actually into the nests and get up there and see how many babies they might have. I think we're just off to the right a bit, right? Getting ready to climb up to the eagle nest up there in the tree. I think this one's up about 90, 95 feet. These guys are getting the rope ready to go up. I'm getting my spikes on, which are required to get up the tree. Each eaglet gets two bands. This is a federal band for permanent identification. This is a New York State individual color band. New York uses blue, so any eagle we see with a blue band we know is ours. Here we go. Eagles have been doing extremely well since about the early 1970s when eagles were at their lowest number. In New York State at that time, we had one nesting pair of bald eagles in the entire state. In the United States, there were about 400 nesting pairs. Primarily a DDT, but habitat destruction and shooting and things had led up to that. We began a vigorous restoration program in the 1970s in New York State. Uh, very successful, emulated by many other states around the Northeast. Um, to the point where the population took off, started growing, and this year, 2008, we expect probably around 135 nesting pairs of eagles in New York alone, and about 8,000 pairs of eagles in the United States. Really a tremendous success story and a tremendous rebound for bald eagles.